A length and a half away next is Repulse Bay on the inside of Al Strata. Fourth one out. Two lengths away, Girl of My Dreams. And last on the outside, Zaragoza. Up towards the corner they come in the Halnui Farm Diamond Stakes. 450 metres to go. And Rude Awakening, the leader. Led by a length now from Bounding. Two lengths away, Repulse Bay. Al Strata coming out after them. Further back then is Zaragoza and Girl of My Dreams. Rude Awakening being shaken up by Boston. Bounding is trying hard about a length away. Two lengths away, Al Strata, then Repulse Bay. It's Rude Awakening, a length and a half clear from Bounding, then Al Strata, further back, Hill of My Dreams. Oh, you can wake me any time you want to, baby. Rude Awakening won the great one brilliantly. She jumped out, she went to the lead, and she dominated from in front. And another Group 1 victory for Opie Bosson. What a proud moment for Stephen Marsh, his first Group 1 success as a trainer, and she has bolted in, was able to explode from the gates. She went to the top. Bounding was quite content to sit at her girth and then Opie Bosson got to work at about the 300 metres and uh, like the good horses do, she accelerated. Colin, uh, another, another Group 1, well this is bigger than the Kanaka Million. Oh, I don't know about that but uh, it, it's just a great thrill and there's always those doubts that the other filly might have been better and it's beaten her once and all those sort of things but no, nah, tremendous and she's, she's just a great, great horse. I know in uh, your rugby days you'd have loved those clashes against Australia. You'd love to see this filly go over and take on the Aussies? Hell yeah. Wouldn't it be nice to beat him on the racetrack too? But uh, no, it's just good that she's she's uh, come through everything well and she's doing well. Good on you, Colin. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, Stephen, first Group 1, how's that? Yeah, look, that's awesome. That um, You know, we really wanted a Group 1 after that last one. You know, she's two times listed winner, but... Um, the group one's really what we wanted and um, you know she did it in great style, super time and you know it's a real credit to the filly, she's just a, a really good filly you know. That's what you wanted, you wanted the clash with Bounding, let's see who's the best one. Well look you know um, we always knew we had a really good filly, we, we thought we were inconvenienced last time. I think both fillies had their real opportunity today um, and you know I'm just real happy we put our hand up and it was good we got a both a fair, fair crack at it today. Yeah, exactly. You must be so proud of, her, of what she's been able to do. Absolutely. Look, as I've always said from day one, she's just been unbelievable. She's done everything right. And again today, she's just, um, you know, she's set up. I mean, she's a, doing a strong gallop in front. Um, and, you know, I don't think it's, she's getting a soft leash. She's got such high cruising speed. So, yeah, she's just a pleasure.